Next principle of presentation is about that you do not need to present articles too high. For example, if the articles are placed too high on the shelf, then of course they will not be attractive. And if you just elaborate, just uh, recall the basic definition of the presentation that the articles should be accessible to the customer. So this is a key point in understanding that you should not place articles too high so that they, are, they can be easily accessible for you. So this display of the product easily elaborates this that what should be, uh, what kind of display you should make. For example, if the display is like this, which is too high, so of course it can create problem for the customer. And the customer of course maybe will leave because he will not be able to exactly pick that product. However, if the display would be like this, so it is an ideal example because it is customer uh, easily accessible for the customer. So the basic rule in it that your display should not be above the eye level of the customer. And of course it is country specific. If I talk about China, then the size, the height of the people uh, will be different. If I talk about, uh, let's say Italy, so the height of the people uh, will be different. So the eye level of presentation will be different from one country to another country. And this should be set as per the eye level uh, of that particular country. So the role in it, that presentation should be powerful, the mass merchandising should be there, and the right location of the product at the right, uh, right location for the right product. So it should not be product uh, displayed at any place. So the, the suitability of the location should be very much there. Another example of uh, do not present articles too high, that above the red line, the temperature is too high for frozen articles. This example is about specially for the frozen articles. If you visit a store, you must have observed the chest freezer, there is a red line uh, of available. There is a red line in the, the freezer. So that red line is actually depicting that the, above the red line, the temperature would be high because in the freezer, you have to maintain a set temperature in order to sustain the quality of the product. So you need to ensure that the display of the product should not be so high that the product's quality should be affected. So on one side, it was about the uh, inconvenience to customer. And on this example, it, is, it can cause a loss in terms of quality of the product because if the product lost its quality, then ultimately it would be a loss uh, to the business and to the company and to the retailer. About the 11th principle, uh, using the appropriate equipment. As we have discussed in general about the equipment, for example, for the mess display, the product should be on the pallets. If it is about this display, which is placing, for example, shirts, so there has to be proper hangers available. If we are going to uh, display the LEDs or the televisions, then there should be a proper wall, a proper uh, wall mount bracket uh, as an equipment to it. So all the products, normally they have some requirement related to equipment. So if they're in the retail store, you need to ensure that the proper appropriate equipment is available so that the product should reflect. Imagine if these shirts are displayed on a pallet area, on, on, uh, on pallets, then of course the display will be there, but this will not give a proper and real impression for the customer. So your every equipment, uh, the choice of equipment should encourage customer to buy impulse because it should be appealing enough. And also the display has to be attractive because this will give more life to the products and ultimately will give more business to the retailer. The next principle uh, is about that do not place articles on the floor. Very basic thing, very simple thing, uh, very basic principle that the products should not be uh, directly available on the floor. For example, if product will be displayed here, then it will be giving a, a worst image uh, of the product. So the principle is it should be on a proper rack. It is either food, it is either non-food. So the product should not uh, contrast with the, with the surface of the store. So it should be either on some pallets, it should be either on hangers, it's, it should be either on shelf, because that is actually the objective of the presentation. Normally the products on the shelf, uh, on, the, on the floor, 
uh, are not considered to be the quality product. So two things we need to take into consideration again using their appropriate equipment and then choose the right location for the right product. The next principle is about make sure all information is available to the customer within five seconds. So the five second principle is about the customer should be able to see the four basic information. First of all, uh, first of all, the sample. So either the product sample is available or not. Second, about the price label. So the customer should be able to see immediately the price of this product because first of all, he will see the product and then uh, the next thing which comes into the mind of the customer is what is the price of this product. So customer will see the price label. Then after uh, getting the price label, he should be able to see clearly the product information, the description of the product, the main key features of this product, and then if the product stock is available or not. For example, if the stock is on display, uh, the display, the, the, the sample unit is there, but the stock is not there, then the customer will feel that they, you do not have stock of this item. So uh, the five second principle is that you need to recall, you can easily see immediately the sample. You, can, you should be able to understand the price label. Uh, you can easily able to identify, you should able to able identify the product information. And the last part is the physical stock of that particular product which you are looking for.